Mr. President, um, the distinguished Republican leader spoke against the USA Freedom Act earlier this morning. Unfortunately, he was too busy to respond to a couple of simple questions. So maybe I would, uh, even, though, even though he was asked to, uh, I would note that the disclosure, the fact that Section 215 of the USA Patriot Act had been secretly interpreted for years to allow the bulk collection of the telephone records, and unlike the comments made earlier, there are no hearings on this, this came across after numerous congressional hearings, including six, six public hearings in the Senate Judiciary Committee. At least two panels of independent experts have concluded the bulk collection program has not been essential to keep our, our country safe. We have wide bipartisan agreement in both the Senate and the House. The bulk phone records collection program is not essential. It violates America's privacy. It has to end. So our question is whether to end it and when, not whether to end it, but when and how. This legislation is the result of several months of intense discussions and deliberations with the intelligence community, stakeholders across the uh, political and economic spectrum, the, has the unprecedented support of the Director of National Intelligence, the Attorney General, American technology companies, privacy and civil liberty groups ranging from the ACLU and EFF to the NRA and Tech Freedom, and the director of the NSA and lawmakers from all parts of the political spectrum uh, support it. So let's, let's get it done now when it can be done. And I'd ask both my statements today, my full statement, be made part of the record. And I ask also that um, consent to several letters and editorials in support of the USA Freedom Act of 2014 be printed in the record. Without objection.